I am going to show you guys what I've woken up to. So, I know I've got to clean the bathroom today, but cupboard doors open. Oh, have a look at this. It's a pretty moth. I'm going to have to send that one outside. This, this is the boys' tip. Light left on. Curtains shut. Things hanging off the bed. This is Brendan's usual state of affairs. If there is a shelf, we will fill it. And that is Brendan's space. He doesn't like me touching it, but I will be today. Because I've asked him many, many times to... Uh, but he hasn't even put pillowcases on his pillows. Or he has, but they're half off. It's full of computer stuff. Drives me crazy. To be fair, my bedroom's not much better today. Clothes, well, I need to put those on. General clutter and mess. I haven't even looked downstairs. Should we go down together and have a look? So, yes, it is my tidy up time. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't look too bad down here. I did have a good tidy last night. A little sink full of dishes because nobody can be bothered to put them in the dishwasher. Good job I work from home and I have a couple of days where I haven't, you know, a day off and I haven't got many kids. Sofa's been trashed, but it's actually not too bad. Okay, that is going to look a bit random with a lettuce on the floor, but that's actually for the tortoises. Um, they're going to be hibernating in the next couple of months. So I don't really want to put them in the tank because it just warms them up and confuses the whole process. Oh, there's one tortoise. Where's the other tortoise? Oh, they are. Down there's the other tortoise. Yeah, it just kind of confuses the issue. Oh my goodness me! Oh, I'm so tired. So I'm going to do my usual. Make a cup of tea. Sort out this dishwasher. I don't know why the pan is still there. That should have been put away. Um, and, and then I'm going, oh, there's water in there, that's good. Uh, and I'm going to make a start upstairs. What cup shall I go with today, people? What cup? A little Pokemon cup. Adventure time. A little bit of adventure time. Bebo. Or Bemo, or whatever his name is. Who there? Uh, actually, I'm in the mood for a woodland friend. There we go. Woodland friend. It's my cup for the day. Oh, I need to wake up a bit, I really do. Right, I'm going to make this and take it upstairs and make a start on the uh, housework. dishwashers. I'm not quite sure why. Part of it is because boys take their cups upstairs and don't bring them down so they end up coming down in a huge batch. Oh, the second reason is because we're tea addicts. <laughs> we have a problem. We really do. We drink too much tea. Too much tea. Um, yeah. Well, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. This sponge always ends up in the bottom of the sink, which is so unhygienic. Well, that didn't take long, did it? When I'm on the ball, my jobs don't take very long. Sometimes I can drag them out far too long. There's always a huge pile of stuff to fold as well. And the tumble dryer? Always. I feel like the tumble dryer and the washing machine is always going. There's only four of us in the house. But I do feel like it's a constant uh, battle with the washing. I remember my mum saying when she had her fourth child, somebody told her that actually having a fourth child made a huge difference to um, to the washing. 
And mum was like, seriously, how can one, one more child make a huge difference? But she said she felt like the washing had literally been doubled overnight. Um, just from having one more child. Um, so, I can kind of understand because I've only got two kids. And to be fair, they create more washing than anybody else. And I tend to wear my clothes a couple of days in a row. I'm not disgusting and dirty. It's just, you know, you can wear clothes more than one day. Um, and it's more eco-friendly, I think. Look at that pile of washing. <laughs> it's getting bigger. Um, you know, you can wear things more than one day. I reckon but yeah I'm trying to teach that to Brendan in particular bless him he likes to wear things he is getting better at wearing things more than once I'm wondering if maybe I made him do all his own washing he would maybe not put things into the wash quite as frequently as he does what really bugs me though is when I find clean clothes have been dumped in there in the wash basket. That drives me crazy. Oh no, look. For some reason, these trainer socks have got two holes in the top. I wonder if that's where he pulls them up maybe. So no, that's annoying because they're quite new. We only got those a couple of weeks ago. Right, another job done. Okay, so this is my competition details. So I've currently got seven people down who have entered my competition for the Rhyme and Signs storybook. Um, it would be great if we had a few more entries. I'm doing it until the 10th, of, the competition runs until the 10th of October, so we've got two weeks. Um, but if anyone fancies sharing, let me show you the book again in case you haven't seen the video. Go check out my video that says competition time. Um, but this is the book uh, that you can win. There's two books to win, two chances to win it. Really awesome, awesome storybook uh, with all the signs, BSL signs um, for the different keywords. Brilliant for children, brilliant for all children, especially for children with communication issues, for toddlers, preschoolers who are learning to talk. Um, but it's great for all kids. I mean, you know, my, my after-school kids love to, to uh, sign. And if anyone can learn BSL or, you know, some simple signing that can help communicate with people as they get older, then, uh, you know, that's got to be a good thing to increase your, your ability to communicate with people. Um, you know, because it's very isolating when you can't communicate. Right, so, dish is done. This is going to be posted today. This is the first part of my parcel that is going out because I've had to, <laughs> I had had to separate it. I'm doing a little parcel for outdoor adventures and travel and uh, outside. Two awesome channels you need to go check out. Um, but I need to get a proper package um, bag, parcel bag, whatever they're called, to send that out um, because the first parcel I did was too big and they said it was going to cost me fifty-six pounds. I think it said to post at the post office. So I'm having to break it up into smaller packages. So this is their first package that's going out to them. And uh, I'm going to get that posted today when we're in town. I think I might have a little plum. These are lovely, really nice. I think I might have one of those for breakfast with my cup of tea. I'm still wearing my backwards glove because I keep forgetting to buy rubber gloves. So I'm right handed wearing a left glove because I can't find the right one. It feels really weird. So I need to get some gloves, some rubber gloves, uh, so that I can clean easily. Yes, this is my lovely Friday morning jobs is getting this house. I mean, I'm home all week, so you know I do little bits, but it's hard when you've got the children. You know, I mean, I'm I'm working. I, I you know I have a a job 7 45 every morning i start and finish about half five quarter to six every day well not every day i mean 
I don't work Fridays, but that's three days a week I do that. And Mondays I start at 7.45, but I don't have any little ones during the day, so it's just the before and after schoolers. Um, but it doesn't really make me a lady of leisure. I know I can have cups of tea and breakfast and stuff with my friends, but, uh, you know, there's so much that needs to be done to the, you know, keep a house running. And uh, I'm a bit of a neat freak. Not you'd know it looking at my house today. But, yeah, I do not like less. Drive Brendan crazy because he could just... He says I have an issue. And I say he has an issue because he doesn't clean. <laughs> so, yes, I think... He's told me I'm not welcome in his house. When he gets his own house, I'm not allowed to come because I won't like how messy it is. I don't mind mess quite so much. It's just the dirt. Because you can't clean properly if it's messy. Oh, right. I won't film cleaning the toilet. No one needs to see that. Okay, I'm just sitting and having a cup of tea between cleaning jobs. Um, and I'm going to open. I've suddenly just seen the box on the side and thought, ah, yes. So my... Um, my ongoing belated birthday present from uh, Tasha is to open up the sparkle box every day until I run out of pieces of paper and to select one of these at random and it'll have something about our friendship on it. Okay, let's have a look at this one. We can talk rubbish for hours. We can talk rubbish for hours and it never gets boring. No, we can. And we have done for years. I've known Tasha since I was in the infants. So we're looking at four years old. And um, when she moved away when she was five, my um, my mum and her mum stayed friends. And are still friends now. Um, and it's really lovely because, you know, we've grown up and had very different paths, actually. But we've, uh, you know, we're still there for each other. And she moved quite far away. I say quite far away. I mean, you know, she moved, I don't know, 20, 30 miles away for a, a big chunk of time. But she slowly made her way back this way. And now she only lives about nine miles away. And we see each other usually every fortnight for bingo. But, um, you know, we go out for meals and have catch-ups and cups of tea and stuff. She works out my way, sort of. She has quite a long trek to work in the morning. And she drives literally, literally past my house. So if she finishes early and I'm free, she comes and has a cup of tea with me and we sit and talk rubbish. And the nice thing is, actually, we don't even need to talk. You know, we can sit in silence and just each other, enjoy each other's company. Um, Anna is the other friend that I can sit and do that with, the one I went to Glastonbury with. We sit and do that as well. It's lovely. So I'm going to send her a picture of that and text it over to her now. Well, looks a little bit tidier. Still need to dust and hoover. But it doesn't look completely cluttered like it did before. Oh, there we go. It's taken me a little while. Brendan is going to absolutely hate me because I've touched his stuff. But like I tell him, if he did as I asked, I wouldn't have to touch his stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, because they have to share room and his brother does have asthma I cannot afford to allow Brendan to live in squalor as much as he would like to and at maybe 16 and a half I shouldn't be touching his stuff but he has to share with his brother so if he's not going to do it I'm going to have to do it just need to hoover now <laughs> Good. I didn't even notice it was shut for a refurbishment. We haven't been for a while, though, have we? No. This stuff's so good. You have the chilies, don't you? Because I can't eat the chilies. Yeah. It's too spicy for me. Mmm. Salt and pepper chicken. Oh, that's good. Duck and pork. Was it May Fun? May. May Fun. Mm. 
yeah, so in the back door and then you turn in and the toilet is like two little bits of nail playing toilet, it's got two little buttons, press the little semi serve for a wee wee. <laughs> I like my answer better. I love how they make hearts and stuff out of this thing, out of the coffee. We have food! We have food! What did you buy? Pie what is that? A pie zero. Pie zero. Can't eat it though, can you? No. Is it nice with evaporated Power milk? No. A little bit of custard? No. Oh. It's good for ROMs though. Oh. Or make your own Where's the other cameras? thing that you had? Show me the other thing. Extremely that you got. expensive amiibo. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. He's got a smiley face and nice teeth.